Hi, this is Ginger from My Sister Scrapper. Today I want to share a few projects that I created using the Authentique Sea Maiden collection. Um, I'd show you some of the papers, but I don't have any. I received a sample of the papers only um, from Authentique and their darling. Um, but the cool thing was, is I did challenge myself to use just the papers because I didn't have any any of the any of the stickers or the cardstock elements or any of that. I just had the papers. But the collection is darling, and I needed a birthday card. And so I thought this collection would be perfect for the birthday that I want to send this card to. So on the front, I used the um, one of the sheets that I got was 3x4 cutouts and this adorable darling mermaid right here <laughs> on the front. And I fussy cut her out, layered on some cardstock that I had in my stash. It's kind of a teal blue color. And then some craft cardstock here in the back. And then I used one of the Graphic 45 small little ATC ivory tags and layered that behind. And I did use the new dies to... Um, cover the top portion of it. I added some flowers here for my stash. These little orangey coral colored ones are from Petaloo. This is from Wild Orchid Crafts and same with this. This uh, pretty little peacock blue silk ribbon is from May Arts. And then I found um, in my stash, <laughs> I have this little cute little heart shaped little jar. So I put some little seed beads in there that are kind of this teal blue color and this peachy color. And then there's also some little tiny star sequins in there too. So then I used some glossy accents to seal it up and I added a jump ring and attached it to the um, whole eyelet on the um, little tag there. And then the little uh, words down here is from the branding strip of Authentique. They always put a really cool quote on their paper collections. And this one's from Shakespeare. It says, To Unpath Waters, Undreamed Shores. So again, I added lots of clear Winka Stella to her hair and, you know, all over the seashells. And then I did add these really pretty little um, faceted gems that are from Pretty Pink Posh. And this blue, blue color and this pretty little uh, peachy color. So it's an easel shaped card. It does measure six by six. Um, again, I have the craft card stuck here, some ivory card stuck, and then design paper here, and then as far as design paper here. I love this one here with the coral on it, and but it was really, really pretty. So it's an easel card. So what you do is you open it up and it stands up like this. And then for the sentiment, which I'll hold it like this so you can see, I used one of my um Tim Holtz mini broke dies and I covered my little chipboard with this pretty coral paper and then um, trimmed it off so it would be flat on one edge. I used some gold embossy powder and uh, embossed my sentiment. This is happy birthday. These are some cute little um, starfish. They're just little resin ones that I got off of Amazon. And then another cute little flower here from Petaloo that goes with this little grouping here. So as you can see, It'll lie flat like that also, but it is meant to stand up like so. Anyway, I thought the paper was adorable, and I thought the card turned out really cute. So that's the first project I made. I had so much fun making this card that I decided I needed to make a shaker card. So here we go. I have a shaker card right here, and um, I used a Lawn Fawn Circle die to do the circle here and then added the acetate. The gems are the same ones that I used. Um, they're all from Pretty Pink Posh. Same with a little tiny star glitter. Well, not glitter, but little sequins. They're from Pretty Pink Posh as well. I made a little banner out of some of the scraps here. These little blue flowers um, were in my stash and they're from Prima. Some more of that pretty ribbon. I just have a little bit and I wanted to use all of it. <laughs> so, um, And then these are from Wild Orchid Crafts and another cute little blue one here and then another gorgeous mermaid that I did use my clear Winka Stella on her cute little mermaid body here and then as well as in her hair and I did cover the little um, starfish resin piece right here with some um, of my Distress Ink and Vintage Photo because they were kind of they looked a little funky so <laughs> they're kind of an ivory color but they're pretty ivory so I needed to darken them up a little bit. This is just a regular uh, card. I did add a stick pin here for my stash as well. So it opens like this and then I have the cute little mermaid paper here. The craft uh, card suck is the base of the card and then I layer that uh, teal blue colored card suck for my stash next and then the next mat is the design paper here. Some more of those cute little flowers from Prima. And I love this one here with the cute little mermaids in the background swimming around. So that's the second card I made. I mean who doesn't love a shaker card right? 
cuteness. And so I wanted to, I was digging my stash and I still had a few little bits of paper um, and I had one of those little small 4x4 four four mini albums, the naked ones from uh, Frank Garcia, the memory hardware. So I used that for the rest of the paper. <clears throat> so I made a little mini album because you know I couldn't help myself. Pre-made, it's a chipboard mini album and again it's the four and a quarter by four and a quarter. I used the last of the ribbon to thread through the spine here and tied a bow. Some more uh, wild orchid craft flowers right here and here. And then this pretty glitter here is actually um, distressed glitter in platinum. And I used some um, artisan tape, which is, I mean, score tape is really sticky, but artisan tape, oh my gosh, it's like seriously sticky. I put it on um, around the edge of my cardstock and I sprinkled the glitter on and then I trimmed it out to meet this. This was a three by four card that I trimmed down. Added some more pretty little blue uh, flowers from Prima there. There's the spine and here is the back. Oopsie, looks like I got a little bit of glue there. I didn't ink around any edges. I did leave some of the craft showing because I wanted it to be a quick and dirty project. <laughs> So I used one of the cute little 3x4 cards here and made a little tech spot and then I die cut some cute little tags and the die that I used for this, I'm a big fan of um, Emma at My Creative Time. I love her dies. So this is the die set that I used for this. It's called Chunky Stitch Tags and I'll put a link to her shop in the description box as well. I used the large size and they, the stitched uh, portion right here is the one that layers on top and you can punch a hole and add ribbon if you want a bit. Um, I just left it plain. So that's the tag die that I used for those. And then over here I have this cute doily and these are one of my favorites and again it's from Emma. It's the called Bunch of Stitch Doily Dies and you get one, two, three, four of them. And I used the largest one for this. It's one of my favorites. And again some more of those cute little Prima flowers. And then over here I just trimmed the paper down. Another one of those cute little um, starfish resin pieces. I used this three by four a card with the mermaids and made a belly band and I created another cute little chunky tag. Those tags are adorable. I'm a sucker for tags and envelopes man. <laughs> That's my weakness when it comes to dies. So that goes right there. There's six pages in here. I made a cute little pocket here with the reverse side of the papers. It looks, it looks like sand on the beach. And I love this one. I must be a mermaid. I have no fear of depth and a great fear of shallow living. <laughs> Interesting little quote there and then some more Prima flowers and again I left this page plain. I just thought the imagery was really really cute. You flip it over and then I took this uh, 3 by 4 card and kind of trimmed it down a little bit. I scored it at the top and made a little flip up. So I added some more flowers here from Prima. It says mermaids are my spirit animal and then you flip it up and you can put a place for a photo right here. Over here again I made a little pocket with this uh, 3 by 4 card and I added another cute little tag right here and you flip it over and then again I just added another one of those cute starfish made another pocket here with one of the three by four cards and then on this tag I used the reverse side of a leftover three by four card that I had because I thought the pearls were kind of pretty so I stuck that in there and then you flip it over and then on this last page here I had some scraps when I covered my the glitter thing and so I used a punch and punch out a flower and then added another little flower on top and this has got a cute little notch here and it's actually a little note card but I attached it to my page so make a little flip up and you can put cute little um, two by two photos right here and then it just closes like that and again this is a cute little die again from Emma <laughs> it actually has a matching stamp it's a stamp and die set so it's just a note many things it's super super cute but I just used this little element right here and it's called what is this called uh, just a note and it comes with the stamps and the cute little die. And there, this actually will fit. She has a three by three envelope die that, I, of course, I have as well. And this little note card will fit in there, really, really cute. So anyway, I thought that was kind of cute to add it to the page. And then again, some more cute little flowers here and some of the pretty papers. I just layered two of them on top of each other. And then you flip it over, and again, another belly band with a cute three by four card and another chunky little tag. And I used that same note card die on the back inside cover but I flipped it so it flips open this time at the top. Some more cream of flowers here. Punched out a cute little label with one of my punches. I think it's EK Success and then again this is going to open like this and you can put journaling here or two little pictures. I thought that was kind of cute and it just tucks right back in there and stays closed. 
So that's the third little project that I made. And then I had a few scraps left. I know, it's going on and on and on and on, right? So I made a couple of simple, simple, and I mean simple cards. Um, this is a little A2 size card right here. I had one more cut apart here, some more flowers. Just popped it up on some foam tape. A border strip of the fish, and then I did the whole glitter thing with the tape and the distress glitter. And you open it up, it's just plain on the inside, but it's a top folding card, and it is four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I had a little scrap of this pretty paper life left right here, so I layered it on some of that pretty teal colored cardstock and the craft and made another top loading envelope. And I think this one's um, four and a half by four and a half. I had some twine here from Lawn Fawn that I just wrapped around, and I found this cute little seashell um, charm in my stash. A couple more uh, flowers from Wild Lover Crafts. So pretty simple, but I did add some clear Stella on the seashell here and then on the fish as well. So those two cards. And then I made one more item, and that was, of course, I had to use a tag. <laughs> so because I had this section of this paper left and had the cute mermaid here and this really pretty shell. So I used one of the large Graphic 45 tags in the ivory. And so I just layered up some of the scraps of paper on the back here. I love this. It looks like um, mosaic broken glass. It's really, really pretty. And then I layered it up here. And again, I did that whole glitter thing. No, yes, I did. And I used my little star punch and punched out some little stars here. Added some more of the faceted gems from Pretty Pink Posh. And then again, I cut a little tag with that same whole glitter technique. And I used a graphic 45 keyhole here. Um, another couple of flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts. One from Prima. And then this is the same silk ribbon, but I didn't have any more of the teal, so I had to use the vanilla colors, which I thought it was fine. And then I had a cute little charm in my stash. It's a little life ring, so I put it on the jump ring and attached it to this little jute twine. And I just kind of attached the end so they didn't fly all over the place. And I did mount this up on some dimensional foam tape as well. And there's the back. So there you go, everybody. That's my plethora of little projects that I created using the Authentique sea maiden collection and again all i had was the paper and thank you to brett and sam for sending me that fabulous sample of that collection it's darling so there you have it everybody thanks for watching bye